In pop, being funny is big business, and comedy TV, obviously no different. John Oliver has been the senior British correspondent for The Daily Show with Jon Stewart since 2006. He's now standing in as host while Jon Stewart is off. He spoke with Charlie Rose about the show. I knew it would be terrifying, yeah. and it did not disappoint. Yeah. Uh, and but I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't sure it would be quite as much fun as it's been. It's been a huge amount of fun. What makes it fun? Well, because you get to, you know, I've worked on this show for seven years, so it's like being a kind of NASCAR pit crew member. I know yeah. how the engine works, but I've never got to drive it before. And only yeah. when you drive it do you realize yeah. how fast it goes. And, and you also realize it's a finely tuned machine. It is an amazing, the, the, the show is an amazing machine. And again, it's yeah. a machine that John has very strategically and intricately built himself. You know, he's yeah. taught almost everyone in that building how to do the particular version of their job that they mm -hmm. do so skillfully so uh, yeah it, it was amazing it's been a, uh, I'm even more impressed with the whole machine now than I was uh, before I got the perspective of looking at it from Which on high. Which raises the question though I mean they finally tuned it for him and then they're dropping you in yeah. to a machine that was finely tuned for him. Well, he finally tuned it for him. I mean, right. it, it is built. He he has built this thing over you know a decade and a half, uh, which has can, it been that long. It has been that long. God. I know it's been a <laughs> while. Uh, so yeah, my my real my my main responsibility was not to destroy that machine in three months. That was the main responsibility. <laughs> but no, I guess it shows how how well the machine works that he's built. If you can have someone who does not have his skill sets. Uh, run it and not crash it. You can watch the whole interview between Charlie Rose and John Oliver tonight on Bloomberg TV at 8 p.m. and then again at 10 p.m.